Hey guys, Charmaine here. Today's video is going to be a Gretchen Rossi inspired makeup tutorial. Um, this is kind of from the episode where um, her and Slade went to the dog park and they got in a fight. This is from the 2011 season and the whole time she was in the car like I just was looking at her makeup and it was so flawless and it was so pretty. Um, so I've been wanting to do a tutorial for this for a really long time. Um, this is just my interpretation and how I wanted to do it. I did tweak a few things um, and I didn't go back and look at the picture. I was just kind of um, doing it from memory of seeing the episode, which was forever ago. So with that in mind, you know, it's not exactly like hers is. But um, it's just like purples with a little bit of pink and gold. And yeah, so I think it's pretty and with a really glowy cheek because of course she's always tan and much tanner than I am now. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy the look and if you want to see how to get it then just keep watching. Okay so I already primed my eye with Inglot's primer and I told you um, that I would tell you guys how I like their eyeshadow makeup base and I love it. It's really creamy. It meets out all of the um, veins in your eye and everything where it does have a little bit of color to it. and. Um, you just don't want to apply too much because it can crease on you if you do that but other than that it lasts forever and I love it so no complaints there. Um, to begin with I'm going to take this gel eyeliner and this is by Inglot as well and it's in number 73 and I'm just going to take a fluffy brush and this is going to go through the crease and you want to be able to see the purple when you open your eye. So you just want to blend this out really good and you're also going to drag that down into the inner corner and down onto the outer edge as well. And then just blend that out. Okay, and then I'm going to take a more tapered blending brush. I'm using this one here. And I'm just going to take a kind of gold shimmery shadow. And it's going to be hard to kind of show this true to color because it's so bright. But I'm using this one here. And this is going to go right above that purple. And it really is more of kind of like an orangey gold. And this is also going to go right below just around all of those edges. Then I'm going to take a different fluffy brush and I'm going to use this dark purple here I've been using this color for a lot of looks I like it and this is going to go right where we put down all of that purple so just all the way around And then you just want to blend that out really good. So just up into that gold. Okay, and then I'm going to take an even deeper purple. And this one has kind of like gold reflex in it. And this is going to go on the center. So you want that little bit of a lighter purple on either side. So this is just going to stay right in the middle of all of that. Okay, and then I'm going to take the brush that we used with the gel liner. And this is going to go right underneath. And then go back over it with that lighter purple. And just start in the corner because you're still going to have some of that dark purple left on there. Okay. Using that same purple brush. And you're going to be doing each eye, so you don't really have to worry about it transferring the color. I wipe my brush off in between, but that's just because I'm doing each eye. And I'm going to use this burgundy color here in the center. And this is in um, 
I think the color is 55. I'll put a list of, you know, all of the shadows and everything that I'm doing on my blog. So if you check that out, you'll be able to find all of that information there. And this is going to go kind of underneath where we put that gold. And you're just going to drag that down to where you can just barely see it when your eyes still open. And then just a little bit above as well. Alright, then back in with the tapered blending brush and that same gold color. This is just going to go right below that to blend out that one. This is what we have so far. It kills me that things do not show up on camera as well. As they do in person, but oh well, what can you do? And then I'm going to go in with Rubenesque, which is just a paint pot by MAC. And this is basically just to act as an adhesive for the glitter that we're going to do. And so this is going to go on that area that doesn't have any shadow on it right now. So just pat that on. Okay, and then I'm taking... Sugar Pills Goldilocks. So it's just a true kind of metallic gold. And you're just going to tap this right on that section. And I'm just dragging that down just a little bit so that it blends. All right, and then I'm going to go in with kind of a nude shimmery shadow. I'm using this one here. This is going to go right on the brow bone. Just blend that in with the gold that we laid down earlier. And then also on the inner corner. Blend just a little bit more through this outside edge. It's a little bit harsh. Just make sure both sides are even. And then I'm going to go in with just a small eyeliner brush. And I'm using um, Inglot's Gel Eyeliner in Black, which is number 77. Do you see all this glitter <laughs> floating around? And this is just going to be a fine line. And then don't forget to go under your lash line as well to connect everything together. And then this is going to go on the lash line and the water line and you're just going to bring it to about two-thirds of the way in all right and then curl your lashes and apply mascara and I'm going to do that really quick and I'll be right back Okay, and just for fun, I'm going to go in and add a little pop of pink, and this is one of Inglot's Loose Pigments, and it's in number 34. And so this is just going to go right on the crease as well, and it's just going to give it a little more dimension because you're going to see that little kind of reflex of pink. So nothing too crazy. I literally just like tapped the brush in. And so I've already finished um, my mascara, curled my lashes, everything like that. So now I'm just going to go in with a blush. And you guys know me, I always contour just a little bit. So I did that with my airbrush already. Um, but I'm just going to take ELF's contour or bronzing and blush um, 
duo and I'm just going to kind of tap in both of those and I'm just using a contour blush brush and this is just going to go from the apples up. So it's just going to give you that really glowy finish. Okay, so that's going to be it for my Gretchen Rossi inspired makeup tutorial. Um, I hope you guys like it. I think it's really pretty. Her makeup is always amazing. So um, I've been wanting to do a tutorial on this look for a really long time because when I saw it on TV, like I could not stop staring at her. She's so pretty. Um, so if you have any requests or questions, then definitely comment below the video um, or post those to my Facebook or my blog. There are many ways that you can get in touch with me. And um, I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.